Hello, I'm Judge Diane Shelley with the Illinois Judges Association. This is the 100th anniversary of the passage of the 19th Amendment, which guaranteed and protected a woman's right to vote. I'm so honored to be here today with renowned historian John Lumpton, the Executive Director of the Illinois Supreme Court Historic Preservation Commission. Mr. Lumpton, I want to thank you for participating in this series on the suffrage movement. Now, Mr. Lumpton, throughout history, successful uh, movements have been a result of people pooling resources. There were two outstanding women involved in the movement, Catherine Waugh McCulloch and Grace Wilbur Trout. Could you tell us something about them and how they worked together? Yes. Um... McCullough and Trout came from two different completely or two completely different backgrounds. Uh, McCullough was uh, an attorney um, and actually she was the first woman who was elected Justice of the Peace in the state of Illinois. Um, and so she came with a legal background. She was much more of a grassroots organizer uh, traveling out to different counties um, to kind of work up the people there. Whereas Trout was more of a uh, socialite, um, upper middle class, and she was much more of a, a lobbyist who liked working the legislators to accomplish the goal of getting women the right to vote. Would you agree that they did pool their resources in trying to in be, and were successful in having limited suffrage rights here in Illinois? Yes, absolutely. Um, you know, because they each kind of worked their different spheres, um, they, you know, they were successful in what they were doing, but it wasn't a cohesive movement uh, because they were working sort of independently of each other. Uh, but after they started to work together, uh, it certainly raised awareness of um, the, the women's right to vote and it, you know, propelled the movement uh, forward much more quickly. Thank you, Mr. Lumpton. Very interesting. Historian John Lumpton, on behalf of the Illinois Judges Association, I would like to thank you. And I would ask that everyone follow the Illinois Judges Association on YouTube.